I've just taken delivery of a Seagate Backup Plus 5 terabyte USB hard disk. And I already have a 2 terabyte version. Now I know what you're thinking. Which one is faster? Let's find out. Let's open it up and see what we've got. Small drive, massive storage. That's what it says on the side. Actually, five terabytes is massive storage. It's almost inconceivable to think of having a USB two and a half inch drive with five terabytes of space on it. So the first thing I notice is that the five terabyte version is a lot thicker than the two terabyte version. And this time I've gone for a rather pleasing red color because of course racing red is faster. That's a faster color, isn't it? So in the box we have a USB type A to type B 3.0 cable, which I'm going to be using on my MacBook Pro. Obviously I'm going to have to use a USB type A to type C adapter for the test. And what I thought I'd do is I'd run Blackmagic uh, disk speed test with a one gigabyte load and I'll run it five times and I'll take the peak performance for both read and write and I'll take the average performance over those five runs as well to test the speed of the drive. So I'll do that with the older two terabyte version and also my new five terabyte version and we'll see if there's any difference. Now this doesn't really make any sense, but in my head, I'm thinking that a bigger drive will always be slower than a smaller drive. I don't know why I think that way. I don't have any particular reason other than, you know, bigger, heavier equals slower. Maybe that's the way my mind is thinking. So let's have a look and we'll see if there is a difference. So the results are in. The two terabyte drives scored a peak of 126.1 megabytes per second on write and 123.1 megabytes per second on read. Uh, the average across the five runs was 123.06 on write and 122.78 on read. Pretty much what you'd expect for an external USB hard disk, I guess. The five terabyte drive, now that scored a peak of 142.6 on write and 141.8 on read and its averages were 139.46 and 139.44. So the answer is a bigger drive is faster uh, with a caveat to that and that is of course that the two terabyte drive I'm using has been around for a few years and I've been using it so it's probably degraded in its performance. Anyway it certainly isn't the case that the bigger drive is slower like I might have thought. Now when doing the test, uh, I'm doing the test on a MacBook Pro, so I'm having to use a dongle of course, thank you Apple. Um, and I was using the Type A to Type B USB 3.0 cable. But I also have a Type C to Type B USB cable, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, is that going to be faster? No, no it's not. So if you think you're going to get a performance upgrade by buying one of these cables, then sorry, you're going to be disappointed. However, this is much better than having to carry around a, an adapter with you all the time. And uh, Amazon sell these really cheaply, so well worth investing in those. So with this kind of performance, what are you going to be able to use your USB hard disks for? Well, the five terabyte version certainly scored high enough to be able to edit 4K content in either 25 or 30 frames per second, uh, but I wouldn't advise it. I think you're right on the limit of the hard drive's performance and you're probably gonna have a miserable experience. Uh, if on the other hand, you're editing footage in HD, you should be able to edit at 50 frames or 60 frames per second in ProRes 422 on one of these drives. Now, whilst you might be able to edit video with these drives, uh, I personally wouldn't recommend it. I would go with an external SSD. I like to use these Samsung T5 drives as working drives, and then I'll back up onto these external drives. That gives me a good portable solution. So I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I'll see you again soon.